Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In today's video, we are going to configure fast roaming on OpenWRT. Fast roaming is a feature that allows your Wi-Fi clients to switch their connection from one AP to another quickly to get a stronger Wi-Fi signal, improving your Wi-Fi experience as well as optimizing the loss of each AP by adjusting the number of clients connected to them. When it comes to roaming, we have three standards, A02.11K, A02.11V, and A02.11R. In this video, we will only focus on the A02.11R, which is the fast roaming protocol. And normally, OpenWRT firm will have WPA Mini built-in. However, we need WPA full package in order to configure the fast roaming so you can always go to the system shopware and have a check on your router if the WPA mini package is installed and then you can try to remove it and install the full version PAD have a look right so in this case we can see that the WPAD the full version has been installed if you see that WPA basics or the mini version had been installed then you can remove it and install the full version which is this one and before we get started make sure the second routers or the second asset point is configured at a switch and it is in the same subnet with the first router so let's take a look at this network topologies and we have room A and room B so in the first room we have a DIR A42C2 which is uh, in the subnet 192.168.5.0.24 and it has um, an IP address of 192.168.5.1 and from this router we will be connect the RG45 cable to the LAN port and on the other side it will be connected to the LAN port of this 525x86 uh, uh, router as well so make sure you configure your second router at a switch and there is already a tutorial on that have a check on the video if you need further information just to make it quick i will just show you how to configure it on the second router so you can just go to network interfaces and then go to your lan interface after that you need to manually key in the ipv4 address which is 192.168.5.20 i'm sorry 192.168.5.250 and then you need to fill in the gateway which is the first router which is this one and the dns server which is 192.168.5.1 and after that you need to turn off the dscv server for this interface so when you're done then this router has become a switch and after that we will be installing the package as i have mentioned on the beginning of the video which is the wpa full package and now we are going to configure the fast roaming so first of all go to the first router which is this a42 c2 and then go to network wireless so we have two radios one is a 5 gigahertz wi-fi and one is a 2.4 so i will be configuring the fast roaming on the 2.4 first of all let's enable the interface it will take some time and after that go to edit i will just leave the operating frequencies and everything at default and on the name i will put it something like maybe roaming okay and then on the network it will be lan on the wireless security section i have configured the wpa to PSK password previously and now I just need to tick on the A02.11R fast transitions and on the NAS ID it is just a uh, it will be a unique ID per AP so maybe this one I will put it one two three four five and the mobility domain it will be the same for all of your fast roaming network so I will put it something like AB12 right and everything we just leave it blank click save and then hit save and apply
it will take some time to save the change and the configuration has been applied that is raised and now let's switch to the second routers or the second ap so this is the fi25 router so let's go to networks wireless and then go to edit and also change the name to ramming and then wireless securities to make sure you have configured the same securities uh, the same encryption and the same password right so take on the five transitions the nas id one two three four five no we cannot use this one because it has been used for the first one so it will be one two three four six and on the mobility domain it should be the same which is ab12 so you can have a look right here it is ab12 and the rest of the configuration we can just leave it blank okay it's safe and then save and apply and that's it and now it's time to test and you can see right here we have the lsid running the bsid the my answer ending with 0d73 right the channel is 11 and on this a42 it is on channel 4 and the max address is a614 so let's take a look if this ramming is working fine or not I will be using my phone and connect to the Wi-Fi which is running it is connected right now and let's go to the network sales info light uh, you can see right here we have the ramming AP and the channel E11 which is uh, the 525 and now if I go around the house when the Wi-Fi signal get worse it should automatically change to the other one which is the A42C2 so let's see and you can see the Wi-Fi signal has been changed to minus 86 dBm and it's automatically transitioned to another AP which is on the channel 4 which is the A42C2 and we have a good Wi-Fi signal again so let's try to run a speed test right let's run it Currently, I'm staying in the village, so the internet connection is not really fast. So we are at the A42C2 and we are in channel 4, minus 46 dBm. And now let's navigate to the 525 and see if it's, it's automatically fell over to this. We can see that the signal had been changed to minus 33 and the phone automatically fell over to another AP which is the uh, 525 and is on channel 11 and we have a good Wi-Fi coverage again. And let me do a test with the iPhone and see if this fast roaming supports iOS or only Android. We can see that we are currently connected to the roaming Wi-Fi with the LSIDs 0D73 and I will be going around the home and see if it's automatically fell over to another AP and let's see.
We can see that as soon as the Wi-Fi signal get quicker, it automatically fell over or it automatically changed to another Wi-Fi with the MAC address ending with A614. So we can see that the fast roaming is working well on Android and iOS. However, on some older device, these features may not support it. Alright, so that's all for today. And if you see the video in headphone, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel to support me. And if there are any questions or ideas, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Thank you for watching, and I will be see you in the next video. Bye bye.